Okay, I'm in the studio today, and I thought I would do a quick favorite things update. This is a two for one. Um, we're gonna talk about two materials I've been using mm, pretty regularly. First one is a panel down here, this guy. Uh, this is called Carton, and I get it from Gorilla Painter directly, or Blick carries them now. And it's lightweight, it's like painting on paper, but this is pre-treated so that you can paint directly in oil. And I love it, I've been using it for about two years now, I wanna say, and it's great for field studies, plein air stuff. The other part of this, I have been playing around with different underpaintings, because I like to change the color of that underpainting, and I've been using casing. So, this is milk paint, um, and this is a very old paint, older than oil paint, up to 9,000 years old, possibly older. Um, but I had a panel that I had prepared with a color and casing. It dries really quickly, and I just took it out and put an oil painting over the top of it, and I loved it. So I have prepared a whole bunch of other paper sections for being out in the field. This is oil paper by Arsh. Uh, again, it doesn't need to be primed. You can paint on it directly, but I wanted to add the color for some tone. Um, I even prepared some matte board. So this is just regular matte board. It's really nice and smooth. And the casing over the matte board should protect the paper so I can paint directly on it with oil now that it has that casing layer. So I'm excited to test drive these. Um, I have ordered casing in my palette that I use for field painting, so I'll be testing that out in the next few weeks. But favorite things, both carton, really great little material to use in the field, and casing. So far as an underpainting, we'll see if I go from there. Here are my materials, my palette for mixing my paper and carton panels that I put casing onto, and then a cotton rag cut from a sweatshirt that I use for cleaning my brushes when I'm using both watercolor and casing.